Hi, my name is Tiago Duarte and welcome to another video tutorial here at Telebits. In today's video, I'm going to continue the Crash Course series and today I'm going to talk about Flex. Before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe and activate the notification so that you know when I upload new videos. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Also consider supporting my channel by buying one of my products at dailybeats.pt or become a premium or exclusive member and you will have access to exclusive content about music production, mixing, mastering, sampling and FL Studio basically. So let's start the tutorial. So this is Flex, it's one of the latest plugins from FL Studio. So this is a very powerful plugin that I'm really enjoying to use on my productions. So let's start on the layout. Here you can see that we have the installed packs, we have the presets, and it's quite a list. So lately, the FL Studio been releasing some free presets, which is really, really nice. And uh, they expand a lot the presets of Flex. And if we see here, for instance, I have this his Tib Electronica and we have this download symbol here. And it basically says that uh, I don't have these presets installed on my system. So what I'm going to do is just click here and it starts to installing, as you can see here. It's quite a simple and a fast process and it added more presets to my system. And uh, sometimes this can be a little bit shaky. I don't know why. Sometimes I have to download the same preset several times. I don't know if uh, I'm doing something wrong, but sometimes that can happen. Uh, what I would suggest is to do something like this. Just open Flex, do nothing. Just click on the preset that you want to install, install it and let it finish. That way it improves the chances of, he, of the preset or the pack being installed correctly. And then as you can see here, we have all the packs that are installed on the system. I bought a couple of them and we have here recent favorite store. And as you can see, I have four more that I can buy from FL Studio. And we have here one that says all, and this is quite nice because it gives us all the presets available in Flex. And as you can see, it's quite a long list. It's quite a huge list, actually. And uh, it says that uh, it has 1,647 1, presets, which is quite nice. Then we have here at the bottom, one feature they added, I think it was the second update they did for Flex. And if we click here, we see that we have now the type and style so that we can select whatever style we want or type and style from the presets. What I like to do, let's say if I want a base, I select all and then I go here to base and it gives me a list of all the bases that we have available. As you can see, half of the presets, it's bases or not half, maybe one third. And you can select several presets or types and they will show here exactly what you are looking for, which is quite nice. And it allows you to manage your packs and presets much better. And also, of course, you can sort for style, which is also quite nice. Also, you can search here. Let's say you want a specific sound with a name that you like. You can search for it instead of going through all the 1600 presets that we have here. We have here the analysis tab and basically Flex is organized in, let's say, tabs. And we have here the analysis tab, which will show us some information regarding the WAV file that we are looking for or that we are playing. And as you can see, we have the oscilloscope, spectrum, vector scope and spectrogram. So if I play, let's say, let's go here with this LO Flex. Uh, maybe not this one. Let's go with a simple a simple sound like this. You can see if I have here selected the oscilloscope, it shows me oscilloscope. If I select the spectrum, it gives me a spectrum pretty much like um, Wave Candy. We have all the functionalities here. We can see also the vector scope and we have a spectrogram. I usually leave it like this with the oscilloscope. One thing that I really enjoy about Flex is that there is a shortcut here that I recently discovered. And if you want to change the layout or not the layout, the colors of Flex, you can just simply double click here. And you see that now we have all these buttons different. 
and these buttons are different. And if we double click again, we change the color or the background color for this brown instead of the blue blue one. And if I double click again, we see that uh, we have pretty much four presets, which is the basic blue one with the darkish knobs. And then we have the blue one with these bright knobs. And then we have the same for the brown back background. So if we click here, we reset everything. And you can also change that clicking here. And if we see, we have four themes that you can pretty much show whatever you want like this. And instead of going here and going like this, you can just double click here and it will change the preset that you or the theme that you want. One other thing that we have here is show panel locks. Uh, as you can see, we have here some locks. And uh, if we want to disable that option, we just leave it like this and the locks will disappear. I will show you what these locks mean in a bit. Then we have here the macros. The macros is a section with eight sliders. And basically every field, every patch or every preset has its own functionalities. In this case, we only use six. And if we play a note, you can see that you, you can apply a filter with this slider. We can apply vibrato. We can apply unison. And as you can see, the sound starts, starts to change based on whatever you are clicking or modifying here. You can add reverb and delay also. And this is quite nice. You can automate these changes here uh, to create some different types of sounds or some evolving sounds, which is quite nice. Then we have a pitch. Again, if you've been following all my other previous tutorials, all my previous crash courses, you should know what is a pitch. We can increase the pitch of the note or decrease it like that. And we have option to do two octaves down and two octaves up. Then we have the filter, which is basically it a cutoff. And we have here the envelope amount and the resonance. And then we have the envelope amount is here in the envelopes and you can see filter envelope. You can apply envelope to this cutoff filter. And here we have the envelope volume. And this is basically two envelopes, one specifically for the filter and the other one specifically for the volume envelope. And the volume envelope will apply an envelope to the output of the audio of your sound. And then the filter envelope will apply an envelope to the cutoff filter. Basically this section here is for this part and the envelope, let's say for the out. Then we have the master filter, which again, you can see that we have two knobs, one for resonance, one for cutoff. We have here an extensive list of all the available filters. And as you can see, we have a high pass, low pass, shelves, notches, peaks, whatever. You can choose here, phasers, vowels. We have a extensive list of uh, filters. We can add resonance and you can see that we can also automate these knobs to create some really evolving and interesting sounds. Okay, and then we have delay, reverb, and an output limiter. Basically here, the delay, we have three types, fake stereo, true stereo, and ping pong mode. Then reverb, it's a normal reverb. There is some mix, decay size, and color, and speed modulation. And then we have here the limiter. We can have a limiter, a warning, warming, heating, and distortion. Then you can select whatever you would like here and apply some... Um, some distortion or some compression or limiting to your patch. And this is basically it. Another functionality of Flex is the ability to lock panels. Let's say I want a sound with this low pass filter like this. I can lock this feature and then select a different preset. And now you see that every time that I change the preset, you see that the knobs here change, but my master filter doesn't.
And then I can move around through all the presets that I have. Always with this master filter like that. If I remove this or I, if I disable, let's disable the master filter. You see that is a very big difference. If I enable it again, it has a low pass filter with this frequency here, which is 39%. I don't know the frequency specifically. As you can see, the lock mechanism allows you to go through presets with this panel locked for whatever preset that we change. And you can pretty much change all these presets here. So let's increase the pitch or let's decrease the pitch actually. And let's lock it. And now every preset that I go through, the pitch is down. Maybe we can go with the pitch up. Okay, so this is probably some pads. Okay, let's go down. Let's reset this. And let's remove the master filter. Okay, so that's basically it. It's a very powerful plugin, especially because of the macros here. And you have pretty much everything at your disposal to create some interesting sounds or some evolving sounds, which is quite nice. It also has the ability to change the themes very quickly. I think Flex is a really wonderful plugin and it's a really great addition to the plugins from FL Studio. And they are been doing a great job with this plugin and uh, I hope to see more and more packs, especially the free ones, of course. I, I bought a couple of presets. Also check it out these presets here to see what's going on with this. If we select here, we can see that um, this is Trans Essentials. I usually don't produce, I don't make trans music, so it can be a little bit a hard sell for me. But, uh, but yeah, let's see what this one is evokes classic synth sounds from the 70s and the 80s. This sounds interesting. And let's see this one. Accelerate a flex engine particles of inspiration into a quantum world of sound with photon collider. Okay. Sounds nice. Yeah. 320 presets, 8 micros map to a whole universe of exciting audio molecular generators. Maybe I will take a look at this. We have here some links that we can check it out, some sounds to see if they work really, if they sound nice or if they sound nice to what I want, like or what I like to produce. Discover oceanic creatures that will pull through the depths. Okay, this might be sound to create some uh, evolving pads, maybe, maybe and uh, epic atmospheric productions. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, like evolving pads, atmospheric productions and everything. That can also be a nice pack to buy. But you can see, you can just go here, add to the card, and then you will be redirected to ImageLine website where you can just buy, and then you will be able to directly download it here because the FL Studio account, it's also directed to your ImageLine account. So this is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Flex is a very new plugin in ImageLine catalog of plugins, but it's a very, very welcome addition. And uh, I hope they start bringing new plugins in the future because if they bring plugins with the quality of Flex, they also be really good to use here in, in the productions. Yeah, I think everyone enjoys this plugin at least. That's what I feel because I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Also consider subscribing to the channel and activate notifications so that you know when I upload new videos. If you want to support this channel, consider buying one of my products at dailybeats.pt or become a premium or exclusive member and you'll have access to exclusive tutorials about music production and also to the project files of the tutorials exclusive drum kits and a lot of videos from music production that you will only find on the website. That's it. My name is Tiago Duarte and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.